If you are looking for the perfect cordless circular saw for your builds and for your wallet, it ends here. This is the newest cordless circular saw from Lotus. It cuts like butter, it's very portable, and it feels premium and durable, and it's brushless. Hi, I'm Sol, the creator behind Coffee Break PH, the channel dedicated for DIY and technology, and totally not coffee related at all. As I mentioned earlier, this right here is the newest cordless circular saw from Lotus with model number LTCS18V180BL. And I must say, I'm really loving it. But before I tell you why, let's check first what's included in the box. First thing you'll see are the manual and the warranty form. During the time I'm making this video, Lotus has 97 authorized service centers nationwide. So if you need to reach out to them, just check the list behind the warranty form. Or you can reach out directly to Lotus by sending a private message in their Facebook page. After that, we have the guide ruler. You're gonna use this for identical parallel cuts. A hex key for installing the blade. And then the unit itself. As for my first impression, the tool itself feels lighter than the previous model. It has a net weight of 2.6 kilograms. But even though it's lighter, the build quality feels solid and durable. Just take note, when you purchase this one, it doesn't include the blade, the battery, or the charger. You'll need to purchase them separately. Okay, very important thing, before installing the blade, make sure the battery is removed. Never touch the blade or never install or uninstall the blade while the battery is attached. To install the blade, I find it easier to retract the blade guard and lay the circular saw on a flat surface. Then get the hex key included to loosen the spindle bolt, this one. Just remember to turn it clockwise to loosen it, counterclockwise to tighten it. As you do this, make sure you're pressing the spindle lock. Remove the bolt with the washer, then the outer flange. When you unbox the blade, it may come with more than one reduction rings. Get the one that fits your blade and the outer flange. Carefully insert the blade into the inner flange. There's an arrow on the side of the blade, and that arrow should be pointing at the same direction with the arrow on the side of the circular saw. This one. Then insert the outer flange, but make sure when you put it, you put the correct side first. Then the bolt with the washer, then tighten it with the hex key. Tighten it by rotating it counterclockwise, and do not forget to press the spindle lock. Next thing we're gonna do is do some calibration. Use the most reliable square that you have. I highly suggest you get yourself with one of this machine square. If you don't have one, I'll leave a link in the description below on where you can buy one. Retract the blade guard and put the base of your square flat on the base of the circular saw. Peek to see any lighter space between them. If there is, just loosen the bevel adjustment knob in front, then adjust the base. Tighten the knob when you're done. But for my case, upon checking this one, it's perfectly square. And the bevel markings are pretty accurate. Then I grab my combination square to check if the blade is parallel with the base. Choose one tooth at the back and adjust the combination square until the tooth lightly touches the square. Then rotate the blade until the same tooth reaches the front. Get your combination square again and check again if the same tooth lightly touches the square. If it does, your blade is parallel with the base. Now the calibration is done and if you're ready for your first cut, grab your battery and insert it at the rear end of your circular saw. Here. Press the release button and slide in your battery pack and you're ready to go. <laughs> This power tool is rated to use both 2 amperes and 4 amperes batteries. Hold the tool from the main handle using your dominant hand. Then hold the auxiliary handle with your other hand. Now before cutting the wood, make sure you will adjust the height of the blade. Retract the blade guard and put your circular saw on top of your workpiece. See to it that the blade's tooth is exposed for a few millimeters. And to avoid kickback and to have a safer cut, never expose the entire height of your blade if you do not need it. Press the lock off button and pull the trigger or the on off switch and you're ready to cut.
if you need to do minor cuts, just loosen the bevel adjustment knob, go to your preferred degree, and tighten it. Alright, so what can I say about this power tool? First is this being brushless. Brushless power tools are the higher performing tools. Since this doesn't need a carbon brush, meaning less friction, less heat, and more torque. Next is its portability. Since it's cordless, you can bring it anywhere. Third and probably my favorite, this came out calibrated out of the box. It is square and parallel with the base. I love it. <laughs> now this might be a small change but I like this improvement. Instead of having a knob for adjusting the height of the blade, it is now a lever. In my opinion, I think it's easier to tighten and loosen using the lever. But of course, there are no perfect power tools. I find the blade guard a bit stiff. Sometimes the blade guard is too stiff that it doesn't retract gently when I push for the cut. So what I do, I manually retract the blade guard just a bit and do the cut. Okay, it does have a dust port but you cannot connect it directly to the vacuum. I'm just hoping that it includes an accessory or attachment that you can connect the hose of your vacuum. Right? Okay, but I still think that this one is a good investment. Okay, if you have any other questions regarding this power tool, leave a comment down below and I will answer it in my TikTok account here. A huge shout out to Lotus Souls Philippines for sending me this awesome power tool. I really, really appreciate it. Please follow and like the official Facebook page of Lotus Souls Philippines and their other social media channels as well. If you're interested in getting this one, I'll put a link in the description below. So that's it for our video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.